What's going on you guys? Today we'll be talking about my first job uh, working at AutoZone and the experience and some of the things that uh, happened. So AutoZone was my first job when I turned 18 years old. Uh, out of high school, looked for a job, landed a job at AutoZone. I'm like, it was great. I'm a car person. I thought, what better place to have my first job at other than AutoZone? Um, which actually wasn't too bad. Um, it was weird though. Like employees, I think I've I've been to different stores. I've helped out at different stores. Employees aren't required to know too much about cars. Our store was different because pretty much everybody there were car people. Um, majority of them were truck people. They Chevys, Fords. They all just had big lifted trucks. Um, other guy had a Ford Ranger. Um, talk about him later. And then the other half of us were ricers. Uh, one guy had a Cougar that was all modded out. I had the uh, Neon. That was all modded out, so straight up just like mom car to ricer. Um, but that's it. We were at least car people, so we had we, we had things in common. Uh, I've I've gone in as customer as a customer to some auto zones and talked to people and completely cool. It's like I've given them advice about their car. Uh, I've helped out other auto zones where it was literally just a job for the people there. They they didn't know anything about cars at all. This like. You don't need to know about cars to work there. Well, that's the point of this. You don't need to know cars to work there. Um, but which gets interesting because we did offer services like battery testing, alternator testing, and which they will all teach you on the job training. Um, we would change out light bulbs, wiper blades, um, but then again, all this is stuff that we offer if we're not too busy and it's kind of slow and we have time to go out there. Or as a customer, you're going to have to just sit out there until we have the time, until we clear out our lobby. Um, my auto zone was actually like attached to a mall, or not attached, but it was a standalone building, but it was part of a mall. And we we were busy. We were on Route 66, so it, it, was, it, was, a, it was a decent location. But on that note about changing out things... Wiper blades was the huge thing. And you know the Ford Ranger guy? I'll explain it right now. So, when you're the new person, you get wiper duty. You go out there, you change the registered wipers. Let me tell you this. Not too many people know how to change out their own wiper blades. And... You gotta think when people want new blades. They want them on rainy days. They rush to the store. Oh, I need blades. It's raining. It's not. My blades aren't that great. So you go out there as the new guy or girl with a poncho and change out blades all day. That is literally your job on a rainy day. You just stand out there changing one wiper blade after another. You become pro at it. Like now I just pop, pop. Like in the beginning, I didn't even know how to change a wiper blade. I've, that was nothing I ever crossed before working there. And now. That's it. They're like two little motions, you one blade done. Um, so that was me. I was a new guy. I had to change the wiper blades all the time. Uh, but fortunately, like a week or two later, another new guy got hired. He was the Ford Ranger guy. And uh, lucky for me, I was no longer the new guy. So here comes the next wave of rain. All him out there. Whew. I was so glad I was no longer you guy, and he stuck as the new guy for a long time. We didn't hire anybody else after him, even till summer came along and the next rain season came in. He was still that guy, so that's one advantage. Of course, if he's off that day, somebody else has to go out there. But for the most part, I was saved. Probably the most annoying part of working at Ozone was people would leave their used oil and transmission fluid and coolant in front of our store like overnight we'll come in and it's just there and we do take used oil 
but it has to be clean. Like it can't be mixed with other chemicals. Um, and we'll dump it in the back. I like, I guess I do prefer that you just leave it there overnight and we'll take care of it. Then you just dump it in the garbage and I'm like, it's bad for our environment. But typically bring it in. I'm like, you could go back there and dump it yourself uh, before, I don't know about now. When people would bring in the oil during the day and we'll look at it and you could tell like there's water or there's some other chemical in there. We have to reject it and customers would get so mad that we wouldn't take their oil. And because they'll get mad, they'll just leave it outside by the front door. They'll leave it out by our, like, our garbage. Of course, when we take out the garbage at night, we see it, we got to take it back in. So there's proper ways to get rid of your hazardous materials. Um, we can take care of it. You can even take it to your garbage dumps, but that, that's a whole different thing. Um, the second customers we will deal with are the people who come in thinking they know what's wrong with the car, buy a part for it, change it out, come back and want a refund because the part didn't fix their car. We, we explain to them like, we sell you the part, but once you install it, it's your part. Like, you can't just use us to guess and troubleshoot your car and grab, oh here, let me grab a new water pump, throw it on there, still not working, here's the water pump, mine was fine. Like, that's not how it works. And the water pump is a bigger job than that. So probably wouldn't be at, for example, like an alternator. Or a battery is a big one, too. People would buy batteries, come back. Oh, yeah, the uh, car's still not working. I'm like, but our battery's good. Like, we tested it. We test our batteries. Um, easiest thing most of the time, uh, especially batteries and alternator, take it off, bring it in. They'll test it for you for free. But that's it. Like, we, those are probably some of the, not most annoying customers, but the customers that were kind of just like, like, Come on, like we, we we sell parts. Like you asked for this part, we sold it to you, it's yours now. There's certain parts like, yeah, you could return it if you didn't install it, but like these people install these, like they're dirty, the bolts are a little nicked already. Like like we what are we gonna do with that? And then our other customers would be the ones who think we're a shop. Like we're a store, but we're not a mechanic or we're not like an auto shop. We're an auto parts store and we'll have people come in and expect us to like work on their cars. Like again, I mentioned like we'll change out light bulbs, we'll change out your battery, we'll do like basic quick little things that we can if we have the manpower at that moment. But we're not going to sit there and change out your alternator for you. Like I know I, I, we've had people like I'll They'll buy the alternator and they'll try to like tip us and be like, oh, here, here, if I slide you 40, can you go like install? I'm like, first off, we we barely have the right tools. We have them. You can buy the tools, but like we don't have tools with us. Like we have basic tools you can borrow, like screwdrivers and a small socket set. But that's just so you can do something if you need it. Like if your belt is broke, but you made it there, like we... We have some stuff for you to kind of throw your belt on so you could keep going on your way, but that's about it. Like, we're, we're not a shop. Like, you're not going to be in front of our store jacking up the car and, like, all out working on it. And there's people who think that they can do that, and there's people who think we can do that for them. And that was crazy. Like, like we're, we're not a mechanic shop. Especially, I got a AutoZone guys, the males who work there, when, like, a pretty girl would walk in, all the, like, of course, all the guys want to help her. But not only that, they'll go out there and start working on their car. Like, like, oh man, like that, that, that's not a, a whole different issue. That's not even about the customer. That's not about the employees. Like the employees at my store was cool. Let's say we were, we were cool. We, we all got along. Uh, I was the baby of the group, even though there was a new guy after me, I was still the youngest. I was 18. Everybody else was a little bit older. So even like they would want to go out to drink. I'm like, yo, I can't even go with you guys. I'm like, I uh, like, there's nothing I can do. You guys, you guys are way older than me. Yeah, like some of these guys would like straight up like we got a line of people and we're busy, and then they go out, they get a light bulb, or a girl needs a light bulb. They go out there and change it out for them. I'm like, bro, I'm like, she can wait if she needs that. If she needs help change the light bulb, like you can wait till we clear out this line and then you go out there, somebody can go out there and help her and switch it out real quick. And I'm gonna go out there and spend 10 minutes right now changing out a light bulb to be uh, play Superman. Um, 
But anyway, hey, that's a that's an employee thing. But that's it. That was the only probably issue we had at our store with the employees. Other than that, we that's it. We all got uh, together pretty well. And then we had the people who would steal. Like people probably stole more than I knew or that I guess I cared about. And I'm like again. I'm like I was, I was 18, a kid. I didn't really care too much. But I remember there was one instant that because it happened to me. There was two guys that came up to my stand. They were buying, I don't know what they were buying, something stupid, like an air freshener and like a small bolt or, or socket or something. And they were second in line. And I was just finishing my person. So I called them up. One guy walked out the store already, which I was like, okay, whatever. I'm like, maybe just go in the car, start up the car, whatever, turn on the AC. The other guy came to my stand, put the stuff, I scanned it, boop, beep. I told him the price. He's like, oh, man, I forgot my wallet. I was like, okay, whatever. So he starts walking towards the door. Or he says he forgot his wallet in the car. He starts walking towards the door. And then when he gets near the door, the alarm goes off. Because I'm like, we got magnets and certain like high price items. There are magnets and just the sensors. He alarms off. He books it running. And then the other guy pulls up in a car. And this guy jumps through the passenger window into the car. And they take off. Which, like, everybody in the store, myself, and the employees were just, like, staring, like, what the heck just happened there? Like, like that's probably my favorite story at AutoZone was that that guy, like, that was a highlight of AutoZone. Like, I've never seen anybody do that before. Or, like, a guy run out the door, jump into a car window, and a car drive away while his legs are, like, out the window still like this. Like, what happened? Like, that was intense. Um... But I'm not sure, that's probably the craziest story I have at Amazon. Um, I know right before I got hired in, though, uh, they got robbed. And one of the guys, his name, I want to say it was Adrian. I'm not, I don't fully remember. But he had, like, PTSD about it. Like, like when I got hired in, they told me, like, hey, that, uh, don't mind that guy. If he's a little shaky, um, he, we got robbed recently. And... Uh, he got held up in gunpoint. I was like, oh shit. I'm like, yeah, none of this stuff is worth that. You take all this. Uh, he got held up in uh, gunpoint here. And then they stole like money and stuff like, and parts. But um, yeah, like he, he hasn't been the same since. Like he's he's like he has a doctor and like AutoZone's paying for all the medication. All this. I was like, that is crazy. But that's it. I'm like, that's my first job. Um, it was AutoZone. It was fun. It was fun. Like, even now when I when I drive by AutoZones, I just go like, oh my gosh, I, like I used to work there. Or not those that exact location, but like I used to work for that company. Um, it was a cool experience. Like I've worked at, so again, I worked at one that was off Route 66. So it was pretty cool. Uh, I did work, help out like at another store. It's a way different environment. Like, like I said, I'm like, the employees didn't know much about cars. They weren't as car people, and they 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 weren't as close knit as family. I felt like like our location was. I so see you guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this. It's a little different from what my channel usually does, but I figured that I've had a few jobs, some interesting ones. Um, I've also worked at Togo's. I've worked at Hometown Buffet, Disney, some other places. So. Maybe I'll keep doing these stories. Maybe some stories of customers, stories of like just employees. Like we've had some crazy, crazy, crazy employees. Like, like psychopaths. Like, like they hear voices in their head and they worked for us. Like that. Like, that's a whole different thing. So maybe we'll, we'll try that out. Um, let me know what you guys think. You want more stories like this? I'll do different subjects or. Our other content, I just figured that would be a cool little twist, a little different. Uh, what do you guys think of this? I'm like, we changed, I've been trying to use this background now. Um, we got the pops and like some collectible stuff here, video games, PS5, uh, board games down there. It's kind of dark right now, so I can't fully see all that. Uh, got the logo going on. I like it. We'll try it out for a little bit, see how it runs. We'll keep making adjustments. I added the, the lights recently. So, we could change those colors, but maybe we'll do more of this, like, just one-on-one -on -one talking to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Let me know what's up, you guys. Comment down below. Let me know your first job. You got any crazy stories? 
Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.